of all the bots I have encountered in my travels, he is the most... recent. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and we are continuing with our look at Fans Project's Beastructor. And last but certainly not least, we have Bristleback. So here we are, and there he is. And uh, he is, he's another, uh, he's another thing. He, he's a thing. It's kind of weird dog thing. Crocodile, alligator, dog thing with wings okay 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 but let's get in close here so we can take a look at some of the details you got white for the eyes you got some gold for the spikes there on top of his head and the chumpers done in gold as well you got some gold on the spikes gold on the forearms a lot of gold on this figure gold on the claws and you can see the wing tips there picked out in paints got some gold back here some more gold on the hind legs, got some more gold, more gold on the claws, and there's his butt, there's the top, there's the bottom, visible head syndrome, it is right there, it's right there, it's okay. You got that going on. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can move down due to transformation, if you need it to do that, so the mouth can open and close, so you can brrrr, you can do all kinds of that. The front legs, can rotate, they are on a ball joint at the base, as well as a hinge right there. You do have a double joint here, the top joint, as you can hear, is a ratchet joint, and the bottom joint is a ball joint, so you have nice full range of movement there, as well as rotation. The front feet here can move up and down, although you will expose the uh, robot mode hands in doing so. The wings, you can angle up and down, we're also on this hinge here, which is more for transformation, but hey, it's a thing that moves if you need it to move. You also have rotation. You have that ratcheted ab crunch. So it can crunch, it can arch, whatever you need it to do. The hind legs can also rotate. They're on a uh, soft ratchet joint. And you have a hinge there at the knee that swings both ways. And whoops, get him back situated here. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the original version of the mold. And as always, the only difference is the coloration. So, that is basically it for the uh, beast mode, the thing mode, the weird dog, crocodile, alligator with wing thing mode. Bristleback, not to be confused with Nickelback. I know it's easy to confuse the two, but no, no, it's not, not the same. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So let's get down to robot mode. So the first thing you want to do is take the wings here and just swing them around. There are tabs that will go into notches right there. So just bring those around like so. Let me raise up a bit so I got some room to operate. You want to take the waist and rotate it around like so. You want to just split the legs and pull them down to extend them, like so. Make sure that waist doesn't extend, keep that down. Then you just take his foot, bring it down, rotates, down, rotates. And then you just unpeg the hind leg here, like so. You want to bring this up, bring the leg down like this. Bring the foot out, and uh, this will just peg in right there to hold that in place. Second bus, just like the first. Bring it up. Rotate this around. Hold that up. Bring it around. Plug it in, plug it in. And there you have the lower body all done. And you do want to untab the, uh, the hips here from the side. He has the same uh, thing going on as a wild fly there. So. And on him, it's definitely not tight. It does tab in and untab very easily, so you don't have to worry about those sections on him. So now we just bring the arms down, you take the claws here and just swing them back to expose the robot mode hands, bring down the beast mode head to reveal the robot mode head, and 
everything situated. Hey. So there you have that, and there you have Bristleback in his robot mode. And I do quite dig the look of this guy personally, so let's get in closer so we can take a look at that head sculpt focus camera. There you go. Nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Got that nice white for the eyes, got gray for the face. Good looking head sculpt, as far as I'm concerned. Get some gold right there on the chest. Not a whole lot we haven't seen already. You do get some gold right there on the thighs. His new little feet. And moving up the back, everything cleans up pretty well. Got the wings. You can angle those however you wish. So yeah, I like this dude. Now articulation-wise, he had his only ball joints. So you do have all that wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a little bit. Can look down a little bit. You can use that transformation joint so you can look right into his own chest if you need him to. Arms can do a full 360. Of course, if you get the wings out of the way. And of course, you have the ball joint at the base as well as the hinge there. So you have two points of movement at the shoulder. And you do have that double jointed elbow again. Top joint is on a ratchet. Bottom joint is on that ball joint. So again, you have nice full range of movement as well as rotation there. Nothing at the wrist. You have waist rotation. You got that ab crunch if you need it. Legs can go forward that far, back pretty far as well. Outward, about that far. You got thigh rotation. That's all the knee bend you're going to get, unfortunately. Now again, if you move that section out of the way, you can get more than 90 degrees, so it totally depends how you want to uh, manage that. And his little toes are on a ball joint, they can move up, they can move down, you got tiltage. So, there you go, what's going on here? That's just weird, that's just... Anyway. Straighten yourself out man, straighten yourself out. And of course he does have his own gun that we can give him. Just a little blaster there. And. Just plugs right into his hand, he holds it nice and secure like, so he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. So you got that going on, and now for comparison, here he is with the original version of the mold, and again, the only difference is what? The coloration. Yay! So now we're gonna try to get the whole band out here. Because we got the band back together. We got the band back together. Can we get them all in the shot? I don't know, but we got them all together. We're going to try. We're going to try. Oh, we're going to try. Where do you go? Somewhere back here, I guess. I, yeah. 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 That's I think the best I can do. There you go. There you have Team Bistructor all together. Just a multi-colored militia there. But a good looking set. Good looking set. So now let's get this guy into combined mode. So let us remove the gun. Put that off to the side. And to get him into combined mode, you're just going to take his head. Just tuck it down into his chest. You're going to take the arms and you're going to fold them up using both of those hinges. And the forearm will just peg in right there and you just take the beast mode foot there's a little groove for it right there and then this is just going to tab in to a slot in the side of the body like so second vest just like the vest so just plug that in bring that up get that plug into the side like that and we have that done we can bring out the combiner peg you want to just extend the waist right there, just a little bit, as far as it goes. And we just take the legs and compress them back up. First, you want to make sure that that tab goes into this section right there, which, again, a lot easier to do than on a wild fly. Take the foot, rotate them, bring them up, rotate, bring up, and then you just collapse the legs back up. 
tab it together. And then we just rotate so our elbow is oriented properly. And then we bring in the combined mode hand and it just clips right in like so. And there you have him in arm mode. Hooray for arms. So there you have that. So without further ado, let's bring in Monstructor and finish him up here. Just plug it in, plug it in. Oops. These guys are a little harder to get plugged in. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. And there you have it. There you have the completed Beastructor, a.k.a. Monstructor. And that's a multicolored menace if I ever saw one, but looks good. Looks good. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that face of his. Oh, look at him. He's happy. He's just happy to be who he is. Ah! Ah, uh, 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 good looking face sculpt anyway. Yeah, overall, just a nice chunky combiner. I dig it. I dig it. Big old feet. And you know, I mean, he's got a lot of, a lot of junk kind of hanging off of him. But all in all, not too shabby. So articulation wise the head is on a ball joint so you do get some wiggly waggly. Um, can look up if you use the transformation joint so you can go Rah! so you can do that. You can look down very slightly. Of course the head can rotate. You do have to watch those uh, spikes that are right next to his head but the head can rotate. And the arms can do a full 360. Can go in and out. You got your bicep rotation. You have under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Moving on down. You do have wrist rotation. You do have posable hands. The thumb is just on a ball joint at the base. And each finger is on a ball joint at the base. And a single hinge right there at the middle of the finger. Uh, you do have waist rotation. You even got an ab crunch there. Legs can move forward. Not far. Little things might get stuck along the way. No, no. There we go. Uh, backwards movement, you don't get a lot because there's just a lot of stuff back here that will collide. So eh, you're not really going to get much backward movement. Outward, you can get a good couple of clicks. Uh, so stiff clicks as well. Uh, you do have Rotation right at the knee. You can get under 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And the feet can move up a click. Down two clicks. And you get ankle tiltage as well as a rotation edge. So there you go. So now let's talk about the guns because you can combine them. So you want to take these two guns right here. You're going to push in the barrel, you're going to slide in this barrel, if it hasn't done so on its own already, and these two are just going to plug it together, like so. You take this gun, you just fold in the handle, turn this around, you extend the barrel like so, and this just clips in right there. Then we take these two guns, just fold down this handle, and these two will also plug in together, like so. You take these barrels, and these just swing around like that. And all of this will plug in to the back, like so. And then we take Bristleback's gun. The handle just folds down, and this just tabs in underneath. And there you have the big old combined mode rifle, which I absolutely love. I love that. That looks so cool. So cool. So very well done, in my opinion. If you don't like the longer barrel, you can always just leave that compressed like that. Hey, totally up to you. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. And, of course, we can give this to Beast Rector. It's just a tab in the palm of his hand. Slot right there. 
and just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and it does hold that pretty securely if you get it tabbed in right, which I obviously don't. Get that nice and squeezed and nice and squozen. There we go. Then you just wrap his fingers around it, and there you go. He's got his big old rifle there, so he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. That's just bad news for anybody right there. <laughs> so there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the original version of the set, Sotis Ryuo, aka Dino King. And as you can see, the main difference is just in the coloration and the combined mode faces. Not the whole head, they actually have the same helmet, they just have different faces. So, there you have that. Here he is with Power of the Primes, Leader Class Optimus Prime. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with Power of the Primes, Abominus. Just so you can see how he scales there with a mainline combiner. So, there you go. So, there you have a Beastructor. A pretty good looking set and a good looking combiner in my opinion. If you like the original Dino King set and you wanted those Monstructor colors, well, here you have it. Quality wise, everything feels pretty good on this set. Some things to note though, and I did uh, address some of these things in the individual reviews. I'm on Bird Brain, the armatures that his uh, hind legs are on are a little looser than I would like. Wildfly here does have some stress marking issues. Um, I did show off these stress marks on those slots that the hips tab into. And I also noticed that there are stress marks on the one side of the uh, of the bird head where the arms tab in for combined mode. There are some stress marks there. And there is a bit of a stress mark on the clip for the hand. Uh, nothing on this side, but on this side, the clip for the hand is a little bit of a stress mark. I've seen no other stress marks on any of the other figures, just on Wildfly. He seems to be the one where things are a little bit tighter than they need to be. And definitely tighter than they are in the original figure. So just something to note, something for you to be aware of. Overall, cool set, pretty fun to mess with. Me, personally, I prefer the Dino King colors better, but that's just me, that's just my taste. But hey, now you have the option. You can go Dino King, you can go Monstructor. Totally up to you. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this set or any of Fans Project's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Beastructor playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Project Bristleback and the completed Beastructor. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face! All right, Monstructor, you know what you have to... You know what? I'll just leave the two of you alone. You look familiar. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, but it's as if I've seen you somewhere before. I was about to say the same thing. It's like looking in a mirror, only the reflection is not as handsome. I'm sorry, have you seen your face? I'm clearly the better looking one. Oh, come on, have you seen your face? That's the kind of face that says, you don't want to be near me. That's exactly what your face says, just in an uglier way. You calling me ugly? No, I'm calling you hideous. Hideous? Hideous? Is it, wait, is that better or worse than ugly? Well, that depends on your point of view. Gentlemen, 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 come on now. You're both freaks of nature. Come on, why do we need to argue? That's not what you wanted to hear, is it? Okay, I'll leave you two alone. Now he's ugly. Yeah, totally. Hey!